Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! To Aaron, in the last 400 years, civilization has seen major advances in technology, even more so in the last 100 years. Where do you see civilization in the next 100 years with regards to technology? I will be honest, because I always speak the truth, I have no fucking idea. Um, I have some ideas. <clears throat> well, okay, I have, I cannot predict the future. Nobody can. Um, and that's the first sign of a good economist. They know they just can't predict with 100% certainty. We have ideas, but we don't know. So, uh, but here's, here's my observation of what I think <clears throat> will happen in the future. I took some notes. Um, <clears throat> so here's some specific things I think are going to happen within our lifetimes. And then I think that came up with some general trends and how they'll affect. But really, this is no more than 30 to 50 years out. And I, I mean, really, go back to 1803. Could those people have predicted flight was going to happen 100 years later? Go back to 1869, just what, five years after the, four years after the um, Civil War? 1869, you think 100 years from that, they say, hey, we're going to be on top of that moon thing over there. So, I mean, I, this is just me taking shots in the dark. Okay, um, I think there's going to be a continued push for green technologies in the Western world because there are so many people invested in it and so much corruption that that's just going to happen. I mean, this... This is the newest religion. It's going to go that route. For God's sake, they have a fucking school here in Minneapolis called the Gaia Democratics. Like Gaia, G-A-I-A, -A, like the goddess of Earth or some fucking bullshit. And that's the left. Like these are people who are anti-religion, except ironically and hypocritically, they all subscribe to that religion. So this is, we're brainwashing our kids at least for, so the kids today who are five years old, are going to believe this hokum about global warming. So at least another 30 years out, we're going to have green technology. That's just going to be shoved down our throats. So expect more wind power, slow power, and all that. Um, I'm not against that because Tesla, I actually I really wanted to get a Tesla car because it seems so much simpler than a combustion engine. Not the engine itself, uh, but like if I want to work, it's just, it, it sounds really simple. And plus, I personally, even though I'm not an environmentalist, I kind of want to see if I could get an electric car and charge it all on my own, like if I could eliminate gas. And it's not because I'm trying to go green, it's because I'm bored and I want some kind of like engineering project to work on. Um, <clears throat> now related to that, I think Tesla will finally get to the point that its electric cars will be affordable for the average person, not just rich liberals who want to like be snooty. I looked into it, I think last night, like the cheapest Tesla is 75 grand. It's cute what they do is they show you the price after government, after taxpayer subsidies and uh, gas savings. It's like, fuck you, I want to know what it real cost is. The real cost is 75 grand. Well, that's a little out of my budget. So I'm kind of, I think what will happen down the road is they'll start coming up with electric stuff and uh, then people will uh, try and charge their own cars. I think they'll, they'll be going on the grid. Uh, related also, I think Google or the Carnegie Mellon, there will be self-driving cars and I'm praying for that to come because I so want to just hop in a car and work on shit. Write a book while I'm being driven to freaking Alaska or whatever. Uh, I think it would be awesome. And I think that is coming. It is going to be whether the Democrats and the leftists and the, the safety Nazis. Um, say, oh, no. No, how I might get hurt. No, no, no fun. No fun. It's going to eat. People are going to drive more and it's going to be global warming. So you can expect a backlash. <clears throat> they're not just, just not going to let it happen without fucking it up. Or uh, Here's another prediction that's 100% true. The government will start regulating more. There's another. Um, oh, I think there's going to be more automation in... Um, not robotics, that, that sounds redundant. Labor. Uh, Low-level labor is going to be tried to be roboticized and further automated. Because these people, you're going to see an increasing class of, of poor people. And this isn't to say all poor people are like this, but uh, an increased psychology among them is that they're entitled and they deserve more. They're just not good workers, and they're going to be easily replaced. And then once you get these, oh, we demand $15 an hour, okay, that's just going to accelerate it and make it so that these technologies are um, more available. So there's that picture of the, um, there's, there's no servers at McDonald's. It's just kiosks. And you see people in the back making the food. 
And um, yeah, I think that's going to be an increasing trend, which then further throws us down that debate as to whether or not there should be a basic guaranteed income. I also think that there's going to be increased drone usage for more civilian purposes, not bombing the shit out of people, but um, not and not just recreation either. Dr drones are pretty cool, like recreation-wise, but I do think um, they will start using it for delivery. I think they uh, might use it for I don't know. Uh, I'm just picturing delivery. I think uh, Jeff Bezos is correct that it, it could. You're going to see more air traffic, and it might uh, relieve a trip to, you know, hey, do you want to drive down, you want to take this big-ass car, drive it all the way down to pick up a can of oil, or do they just ship it out of O'Reilly's and fly it over to you and flies back, and they don't have to, pizza could be delivered, I, I really do think that might happen. Again, there might be danger involved, let's make it illegal, so you can expect that to happen. Now, general trends, okay, uh, this is just what old Captain pulled out of his brain. I think technologies, as a percentage of funds and investment, they'll go into researching new technologies that will improve our lives versus researching technologies that will compensate for our fucking stupid decisions and our fuck-ups. I think an increasing amount of money is going to go into bailing people out. So, like, medical, obesity, so much more money is going to go into obesity uh, in dealing with diabetes and all that other shit than more like oh how to long uh, increase longevity of your heart or new running shoe technology or something like that so it's going to be uh transplants stds will be basically what can the medical industry do to moot and negate all the stupid health decisions you've made in your life i think that's uh, what's going to be uh, along the same line you're going to have um especially in the third world and the second world as these populations just keep growing and growing, you're going to have a lot more uh, investment into technologies that grow food. Not necessarily genetically modified uh, or GMO free and all this other stuff. Certainly more money in the first world is going to go into that because we're going to have, we, got, we need the latest fad. It used to be carbs and now it's gluten. Now, now it'll be something else. It'll be fig and fagin and folk and folk and biggity backity and goopity goop. And oh, it's goopity goop free. Oh God, did you see the study as Dr. So-and-so said that, oh, the goopity goop is the reason I'm a fat sow. And so in the first world, all that new money. Yeah. Okay. We're going to come up with, okay. So there's that. But for the remaining 6 billion people on the planet. Uh, because they keep fucking and they don't know the basics of uh, birth control. A lot of money is going to go into how do we just get calories of energy into these people's mouths so we can keep them alive for another generation so they can fucking create eight more people. And, oh, hey, and it just keeps it. There'll be a population bomb. <laughs> It'll be funny, but I won't be around to see it. So I think that's uh, <clears throat> where techn technologies in general will go to bail people out of their stupid decisions, not to the winners to champion new awesome technologies like flying cars or whatever. Um, there uh, will be some money though, however, that will go into that fun stuff and I don't know, we call that natural curiosity technology. So fun shit like driving car, self-driving cars, um, I don't know, uh, three-dimensional holographic video games, um, what was it, the Oculus, like where it's, it's like a helmet uh, I think I think that video games are going to get a lot cooler. And I hope so, too, because we've just been doing the console in the two-dimension, and uh, it may be impossible to jump to three just yet. But, I mean, how many times are we going to have a first-person shoot them up? I mean, it, it's starting to... Bachelov had a great... He's like, back in the olden days where you didn't have this amazing technology to just flabbergast the person with graphics... <laughs> you had to make games fun, and that's why, you know, Nintendo and Super Nintendo, there's some very clever games that were uh, kind of fun. But um, there's still going to be some money going into that fun shit. I also think that households are going to be removed from the grid. I think uh, with the push for green technologies, um, you know, self-charging cars or plug-in cars and stuff like that, uh, I think people are going to remove from the grid. The grid just... It, I know it's efficient in one way, but it's also inefficient that you have to have an infrastructure put in. I think people are going to try and find a way to go solar, green, wind, whatever, and uh, they'll just do it on their own. Um, so yeah, I, I just, you know, all the grids don't, oh, well, so it doesn't matter. We only have three grids in the United States. I personally would like to have a little backup plan, uh, but it's not, it's not going to be 
preppers preparing for I think it's just going to be like, wait, why are we relying on this big, totally expensive grid? Why don't we just come up with something more efficient? I mean, heck, back in the old days, weren't they thinking about like little nuclear power plants that would power every home? I don't know if the miniaturization is possible at that level, but some of you will tell me. And then the biggest prediction, I think this is going to happen. I think we're, uh, we're just all going to work from home. Uh, unless you have to physically do physical labor. I think any cubicle job is going to be gone because we're just going to telecommute. Um, the, and, and it's not, <clears throat> this should have happened about five, ten years ago. The technology exists today to work securely from home. And the only reason we have it is because that damn baby boomer generation just hasn't died off yet. And they're old, archaic, fucking stubborn, controlling, micromanaging, manipulating ways. They're just still there. I think when Gen X finally takes over on the helm, we're going to say, what the fuck is this two hours a day in traffic? This is bullshit. Um, we're going to go and, and, and think about that. If we eliminate having to commute, like you just work from home or work from your laptop, it's going to boost travel both domestically and internationally. Uh, but more importantly, or more consequentially, it's going to redo the landscape. I mean, downtown is going to be pointless. There's not going to be big office buildings. Have you noticed any new office buildings being built? No, why the fuck would you build an office building when we have, like, look, at you know, I'm doing this, I'm doing everything and more. I'm doing 100 times more today than what I could have done 20 years ago from, from my home office. <clears throat> and from my corporate office that I would have been working, what, at Wells Fargo, Norwest at the time? There's, we're just going to be able to work from wherever. And so the highways are going to spend less money on repairing roads. There's not going to be commuter traffic. There's not going to be rush hour. These are great advancements. I just think the powers that be, like all these people that, you know, real estate investment trusts and all these hedge funds that own downtown properties, they're going to be like, we got to do something to make sure people work downtown. So I think there's going to be a, a failing attempt on the part of best, uh, special interest groups who own downtown property to prevent that from happening. But it, it's going to be a good day when you wake up. Well, it is a good day for me. Let me tell you how it will work. I'll tell you how it works. You wake up, you grab your cell phone. You're still, you're still in bed. And you're trying to go through your social media. This is what the future will bring. And then, oh, yeah, and then maybe you'll get up like me and say, maybe I got my running shorts, I'm going to go run. Because I didn't feel like showering because I'd run and then I'd sweat. Then you come back and you do your work like you're doing now. I'm doing now, and then like, uh, yeah, and then like, oh, I'm gonna go get food. And you don't have to worry about rush hour or there's lines because people are just doing the same thing. Some will go in at eleven, some will go at noon, some will go at one, and you go there, and isn't that fucking cunt with her little list ordering eighty different fajita burritos for everyone at the office, and she's going through all the nitpicking detail because she's too much of a stupid cunt to fax it in. So there's a line backed out of Chipotle around the corner because everyone's a lemming and no one thinks about like, oh, maybe it's not worth my time to stand in line for an hour because I don't have a life and I just sit in a cube and the commute anyway. That's gone. That's fucking gone. And then, uh, yeah, I feel like working in Colorado today. Why? Because I want to see mountains. Yeah, fuck you. What are you gonna do about it? nothing? And your boss is going to be like, hey, cool, have fun in Colorado as long as you get your work done. And um, I don't think it's going to increase GDP because I think society is getting lazier and lazier. But I think work satisfaction is going to go up because it's going to be, I don't care. Yeah, work from home. Yeah, dude, whatever. Did you get the report in on time? Cool. All right. I had, <laughs> I had a, I'll tell you a little story. One of my sponsors, um, you know, they came in and it's a it's a shared profit. We haven't haven't made any sales yet. I said, okay, I'll throw you guys up and <clears throat> clients just don't want to buy the stuff. Says, um, mind if we have a, a call and a chat say I don't do meetings. I don't do meetings. Just tell me what you want. Send it to me over email. I'll do it. But I don't do meetings. I'm not doing meetings. And I haven't heard from them. I think they took the, the link down. <laughs> so it doesn't work anymore. I no nah, fuck you, I'm not doing meetings. No, no, there's no meetings. Hi, I'll do it over like Skype or something. That's it. But no, it ain't going to be no meetings. Uh, and then also, uh, now that there's no commute in no city center anymore, I think you're going to have more of a dispersed population. Why are you going to live downtown when you can, you can actually have that small little house in Madison County? Why? It should, if that happened to me, and, and I, <clears throat> shit, if the girlfriend would ever, I just need to make like a cool million dollars to buy, pay off everything, and then me and the girlfriend are retiring. And I will get a property out in the middle of nowhere in the Black Hills and the Badlands. I will be out in the middle of freaking nowhere. 
and uh, there'll be one less person driving on the road. So I think pr the population will disperse more. I think people still congregate because of social reasons around the city, but it will not be because of commerce <clears throat> or jobs. It will not be because of economics, but because of social reasons. So you're like, oh yeah, let's hang out, let's grill. A lot more grilling going on. Anyway, so that's it. Those are my predictions of the future. I, again, uh, they're all, I think some of them will be right. I mean, I'm quite confident about some of them, but the rest of it, yeah, I have no fucking clue what's going to happen. Anyway, best of luck. Toodles.